Hello, welcome to another Blender tutorial. So in this video, we are going to see how to create the stylized fire effect in a simple steps. So first let us take an object. In this case, I'm going to take a torus. And now by selecting this torus, just press F3 and search for quick smoke. So just I will select this and it will create the container and scale the container according to your requirements. And now after that, we have to select this and we need to go to the physics tab. And here the type, let it be like a flow. And here the flow type, I will select it to fire. And here I can increase the value of the fuel. So let it be like a two. And if you come down, if you go to the flow source, here surface emission, I will give the value to like 1.4. So now we'll change the shape of the fire. So in order to do that, we can go to this texture and click on this new. And here the type, I will select it to clouds. And now after that, come down, just open this colors. And here you can enable this color ramp. And in the contrast, you can give the value to five. And here you can give the size to 0. 0.5. One zero, And now after that, we can go to this physics tab here, enable the texture option and come down. And here we need to select the texture, which we have created and see now the shape of the fire has been changed. And now after that, we need to select the container. So go to the physics tab here and come down. And in the cache, you can select the type to modular. And after that, we can increase the resolution of this fire. So if you come here, you can see there is an option like resolution. And here in this case, I can give up to like 128. It depends on your system performance. If you want to create more realistic fire, you can increase the resolution of the fire here. And also if you come down, you can enable this option called like adapt to domain. And also now open this fire option. And now we need to make some changes in this. Now here, if you drag this thing, you can see there is an option like reaction speed. Here I will give the value to 0 0.5 and the vorticity to 0 0.1. And now we need to create this cache. So first of all, we need to select the folder where you want to save this cache. So just I will select the folder location. So just I will select this and accept. And here you can select the frame range. So in this case, I'm going to the value up to like 150 and now after that we need to bake the data so if you come up you can see there is an option like bake data so we need to click on this so now the baking has been completed so if you click on this play so now we got this nice file simulation so now we will give the material for this thing so by selecting the container we can go to the shading tab so select this shading tab and now here we can create a node called attribute so select this and just here we can type a name called like heat and also we'll take color ramp. So here I will select this fact to this fact here and the color to emission strength. And also for time being, I will disable the background. Uh, so if you want to disable the background, you can go to this world option and here in the background strength, I will just decrease to zero. And also here, just I will decrease the world opacity and just enable this scene world. And also like uh, be in this lighting mode. So select this. So now you can see this smoke here and here you can play with this thing like uh, you can increase and decrease the value of this color ramp so that according to that you can able to change the shape of this smoke here and also like I will change the render engine to cycle so here in the render engine I will select it to like cycles so now we got this nice smoke and after that add the another color so you can click on this so you can select this and you can drag up to like at the end and you can change the color of this thing. And now this time we can add the color. So for that, what we'll do is just we'll take an another color ramp node. So select this and same just I will connect this fact to this fact here. And now this time I will connect this color to color emission here. And now here we can change the color. So if I select this thing and you can change the color it to like orange, so you can drag it more. So we got this color. And after that here, we can increase the density. So like I can increase this density here. And after that, uh, like we can change the color of this white color. So here, if you select this and I can change it to like orange. So now we got this. And also here, like black body tint, I can change it to like little bit of orange color. So still we are getting this white color. So I will go to the shading tab. And now you can increase the density to like 50 or something. So we'll get more like black color. And literally what the thing is just we can add the light in between this thing. So like if you go to this layout and now uh, we have this light. So just I will place it exactly in the center. So just I will move it. And now you can increase the intensity of this light and you can go to this properties and you can change the color of this light to like more reddish. And also we can increase the power to like 5,000 or something. 
So we got this more glow effect. And now you'll see uh, and render this thing. So if you want, you can go to the camera view. So just adjust this camera and by pressing N, I will lock this camera, go to the tools, view here and just select this camera lock and just we'll render this thing. So we got this nice uh, fire effect and still we are getting this white color. So what we'll do is just we'll go to the shading mode and select this container. And here we'll change the color of this thing also. So select this and we can make it like orange or yellowish color. So see, now we got this nice fire effect here. So now if you want to create an animation, just you can go to this option like output and select the location where you want to save and you can select the frames and you can select the resolution. And here you can select what kind of format you want to export and literally we need to go to the render and render animation. So in this way we can create this stylized file. So you need to play with these values until you get the desired output. So that's it for this tutorial. See you in the next video.